Sonny Edwards, masterclass, best performance of your career. What do you think? Nah, no way near, to be honest. I mean, the scorecard showed that. I mean, I'm a bit, I'm a bit fuming at the 116, 112. Mm. Maybe if you want to give him three rounds, but definitely no more than that. I think I think we had a word with Frank after then. He went, they probably just gave him them because he thought, oh, he's done better there than all the other rounds. I think it was quite one pace, to be honest. I was just hitting him kind of at will. When he was putting the pressure on, that's when I was having most of my success. He, he probably would have done better standing off a bit more, to be honest. Cause I think that's when I was kind of being a bit eager early on. But now, nah, yeah, I'm happy with it. I've got the win, 15-0. and 0. Um, I think that pushes me up with the WBA rankings as well. Should push me up with the IBF. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he was ranked 40th in the world at bantamweight on Boxrec, so give me some points on there. You know, us boxers love those those number the number games. But um, yeah, I'm happy. I mean, look, he beat Sean McGoldrick, mm-hmm. someone that was at the top of GB when I was on there. Do you know what I mean? He was Commonwealth Games medalist, um, nice lad and a great fighter. He beat him, beat that unbeaten MTK Kazakh fighter. Yeah. So I can't really complain. And and I obviously I had Jay Harris, who's a good friend of mine. I've had um, Lee McGregor, also a good friend of mine, tell me how tough and how much of a firefight he comes to have and that they didn't have no easy fight with him. They said that all of them is the hardest fight they probably had, do you know what I mean? Take away like the Martinez's and, and Farouk, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that was a great stepping stone. I mean, I've t- said time and time again, I'm not no super flyweight. I make the weight way too easy, honestly. I w- Bear in mind, I was 67 kilos coming out of lockdown. 14 weeks later, I was 52. And I didn't really go over 56 kilo from the last seven weeks. I mean... I need to get down to flyweight sooner rather than later before my talent isn't enough for my, my size, you know what I mean? But I feel like I've done well. I, I thought personally I probably won about 11, 10 rounds. Um, even Frank said he probably thought I could have went 120, 108, but it don't make no difference. The blind bitters, it was a unanimous, clear decision. No one was arguing, they weren't arguing, and I kept my belt, you know, back after a little layoff, the longest I've had out of, of a pro ring. So... Um, my ankle, it, it's fine. I mean, it did hurt, but it's just something I've got to live with now since I, I injured it all that time ago. Um, when it goes, it's just sore, that's it. But I was, my movement was still fine. I can still get out of the way of punch with one leg. Do you know what I mean? So, it's right. Listen, so, social media was waxing lyrical. David yeah, yeah, yeah. Hay was waxing lyrical. I'm not, I'm not even going to get to the hair yet. Let me just tell you what David Hay said. David Hay said, there's, there's nothing more that we can see from you to tell us that you're ready for a world title shot. Do you just feel ready for that now? Do you agree? I mean, I always react. I mean... I don't know how exciting that was. I thought that was quite a boring fight, but I had to make it that way to make it easy for myself. Simple as that. I mean, firefight of a son, but I was going on my ass, 100%. Um, he's probably had me switched on more than anyone else's, probably apart from Ryan Farag because that was a grudge match. I had a lot of animosity going into that one. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would, li- I would like to think so. But, you know, I'm still maturing. I mean, I'm 24, but I'm in about an 18-year-old's body, let's be real. Like, I'm, st- I'm starting to get abs. Yeah. Well, I'm look, starting. Look, this 18-year-old's body just, uh, you know, put on a bit of a, a bit of a show there. Showtime. Um, the hair. Now we've got to talk about it. B- BT have been going. They, they've been putting stuff up on social. They've been getting people to rate it out of 10 and, <laughs> and, and all sorts. Of, they've been having all sorts of fun. I noticed it actually stopped being pigtails after a few rounds. Talk me through that. I thought the pigtails would come up, but he didn't. Jamie ripped them out of my head because a few come, a few was coming down, and he was like, "Nope, you're having them out now." What happened was, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to tell the background story of that. So. I didn't get my hair cut, locked down, you know, so I adhered to all the COVID rules that, that Boris set out. So I didn't go and get my hair cut. I didn't have no one come to my house and chopping my hair. So I grew it out to the, the length that it is now. Um, apart from the size now, because obviously the barbers are back open now. Sure. But when I was training, my hair was going like this in, in my face, in my eyes. So what I did was, I thought, oh, Michael Conlon does that. Boom, done it. But I looked stupid because my sides were too long. So it was all out. So someone went, why don't you put two in? So I thought, yeah, go on then, put two in, it solved the problem. And then I trained a couple of bits, people saw it a couple, and I, I kind of like winding people up. So if I can wind people up without doing or saying anything, that's a bonus for me, do you know what I mean? So I, I put them in and I was putting them on my story and I was getting a lot of abuse, as you can imagine. Um, people calling me a lesbian. But I've been getting that before I've got the pigtails in, so I mean, that's just, um, that's just by the by. But um, then the, 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 the sign, the fact that I had booked in for a trim, my, my pre-fight trim, shout out Giovanni. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that funny? It's, just, it's good to give him a shout out. It's yeah, a pl- good, good trim. Plug the barber. He's just opened his own barbers in Rotherham, man. Rotherham Main Street. Barber, yeah, it's called. Um, but, but what I did is I, I, I put it on the poll, and that was the worst thing I could have done. Because I put it on the poll, and I think about 2,000 people voted. 52% voted to keep him. So here we are. 
here we are and you've you, you look you've been you've been wearing them proudly exactly exactly and, and that is to, to be admired so Sonny what do you want to do next you're 15 and 0 now you're telling me you want to go down to flyweight that's the weight for you Frank's talking about a world title shot do you think that that needs to come at flyweight well first and foremost I'm probably gonna get rid of my pigtails let me let me be real I think that was a one a one time deal um I think they've lived their, their lifespan. But yeah. Um, the the legacy will live on, by the way. Yeah, you know, you know I mean, lockdown trim. You know, I've got the, my attempt of a beard, you know, my bum fluff. Um, but yeah, Frank's been talking about these world title fights. I mean, you've got to corner someone in the ring with me first. And I think a lot of people look at me and probably think, yeah, I can beat him. He don't look in shape. But I'm very fit. I wasn't even out of first gear there. Let me be real. Let me be very real. But I made it that way because I didn't want to make it an exciting fight. No no chance against against a Somba. He's too, he's too strong and too tough and he can find weird angles and he can punch, so forget that. But um, that was a great step stone. I've got my eyes at someone like Muriti Mutalani, the IBF champion. Mm-hmm. African, South African, small, hard, comes forward and just grinds you. So not too far away from what Zumba was. So mm-hmm. for me, perfect opponent, I mean, I like Muriti a lot and I think he's a hell of a fighter. But at 37, 38, they're the times you start getting them, them yeah. fighters. But... Um, like I said, I just want any fight. I want the best fights. I can be a nightmare for anyone because I can negate anyone. Like, someone was really trying to let his hands go and he was just punching thin air most of the time. Mm-hmm. When I was stopping my feet, that's when he was getting a bit stressed. But that was my choice. As soon as I went back on move, move and hit me with a jab. I mean, maybe that's why the judges gave a few rounds against me. They thought I was being too negative, maybe. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we win and we move. So, I mean, that's it. We win. Sonny, listen, I could talk to you all night, mm. but I can't. Uh, so, congratulations. And I'll, I'll leave you with the other guys. Well done, mate. Cheers.